Something that I like a lot that the AI community often says is, uh, we understand minds by building them. So if we're trying to build something that we would think if a human did it, requires intelligence. Driving uh, in traffic is certainly something that requires intelligence. And in the past, outside the, the car business, right, the AI applications have been very narrow. Currently, we have driver assistance systems, and they get better over time, and they help you with one particular thing, like you know, looking to the back, whether there's a fast car approaching you and you know, warning you if you're changing lanes at the bad time. What's really challenging is to build AI systems that are not narrow, right, but they sort of put together different competences from different specialties and bring them together to an overall system. And so there's this whole uh, topic of bringing together what we call statistical AI techniques, such as machine learning, and then the symbolic logical AI techniques, which is more logical reasoning, like when he does that, then I will do this, and then he will do that, and so on. And so this planning is uh, sort of planning in discrete space of uh, various futures, so to speak. So you're trying to envision the future, how I, as the self-driving car, will behave in the scene, and what others will do, other traffic participants, and how this will interact. It's not just the car that becomes intelligent, but the overall ecosystem of cars and infrastructure and traffic uh, can become intelligent and thereby becoming more efficient and will help uh, save natural resources, will help people save time and uh, just the overall system be more productive. These are exciting times in AI and uh, we are at BMW, we are very excited about bringing AI to what we do, building great products for our customers.